I'm hoping it clears that and I ain't got to jump back up again. Oh, yes. Well, it is about that time. It's been a while since we've done a pack lift. I hope we're about to get it. Yeah, I, I don't think you forget it that quick. It's sort of burned into your brain. Um, yeah, I think we need a heat exchanger on this one and just, you know, a few little bits badgering up. But all in all, it's quite a nice little vehicle. Things are developing. I cut my hand. Tom hasn't cut his yet, which is not like Tom. I, you know, it's going to happen. Might have done, yeah. Who knows? There's actually lock wire on these. That's getting cut straight off horrible horrible things um but yeah in all fairness the pack looks in pretty good nick um but we won't fully know till we get the whole thing out and then uh, once it's out we'll go through it we'll give it running up on the ground shall i think we, we paint it? you want to get the old baby blue out don't you really i'll get the silver out get the baby blue out and off we go right Are you doing a proper job in there, Tom? Hey. Tom's taking your prop off. It's his favourite job. He loves it. Well, it's all, all unbolted. I think we'll go have a bite to eat and then it's about ready to lift. Um, yes. I suppose uh, I've got one pack bolt there. The other one is uh, somewhere down there. So it's a, it's a good thing that the pack's coming out. It's all going on with the pin scours. You're supposed to put them back together, not taking them apart. Oh, it's all shackled up for me. Right. Who needs door handles? Let's try not hit that, uh, hit the compressor. We've got the thumbs up. We've got too many bloody tanks. Oh, we're still in four wheel drive. Give it there in the old girl. I do, I do like them though. Yeah, I'm enjoying this commander's seat. I feel like I'm. You won't if I know rough ground, there's no air on that. Yeah, one. but I feel like I'm in charge of everything. Even if I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I think you need to be in gear first before it will move. I'm driving the clutch. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh, yeah. I see. There we go. Ooh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sometimes the aircon works in these. I don't know if this one's even got air con. It's very spacious up here. I bet it is. There's a bloody mud on your face. Hey, don't worry about that. Handbrake off, and we're off. I'm trying to kill Mr. Pins Um, Don't forget your mirror signal manoeuvre. Oh, yeah. I'll, oh. Have your, I'll have your license off you for that. I have a license. <laughs> Who taught you to drive? Oh, fifth gear. Oh. Yeah, no. Do you watch out? Oh, I forgot I left that car there. I might, I might need to get you to back me around. I think I will, I can't really see it all. Rookie error. Oh. Almost. Line up. She's on! Easy as pie! Ah. Let the pack lift begin. The pack is now up, dangling in the air, you can feel it. Now we've just got to watch everything out carefully. So this is the inside of a 432, and the pack's dangling. You, you see, I can move the old thing about. He says, it is a little bit. 
bloody 104 hours. Very, very new engine. Shame the heat exchange is gone, really. And hold. It's got a, the worst bits for catching is the back end of the alternator. See in there, you see how snug that is, and it likes to snap off the taps. So you've got to keep an eye out for that. Also, uh, along down there, the oil tank and all that stuff. And then also, the front end, you've got to carefully get that out. So that the corner piece of the exhaust gets very, very close. Up on the main! Everything's looking pretty clear now. And as soon as I start to come up, that'll free. All clear at the front! All clear at the front! Yeah. Send her home. Yeah, oh, come up, uh, slew back a little bit. We're out of main. Yep! And then up on the dipper. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Yeah, actually a very, very clean pack. Very, very clean. Let's start to slow. I'm hoping it clears that and I ain't got to jump back up again. Oh, yes. Beautiful. It, lo it looks weightless suspended up there. But let me tell you, they are a heavy old pack. They look pretty good underneath. Just a bit dirty, really. All right, start to come down. on a hunt for some floor bounty what have we got straight up there lots of leaves any tools mm. no it's looking remarkably clean yeah a little bit barren i like how we say that's looking pretty clean which it is <laughs> it's surprisingly clean yeah if you see the state of some of them there's about a foot of mud <laughs> in the bottom it's to pack bolts in here yeah so that might have been me <laughs> i might have dropped that earlier that is how you get a 432 well a 434 in this case pack out the only difference is on a 434 there's a pto drive on that so you just unbolt that as a unit and just pull it back but yeah that's how they come out and that's the way to do it in a proper 434 operator today dun dun a separate starter panel just for me Right. We'll get it up on sleepers and then you've got a bit more room to go underneath. down I love that bit I love it there you go you put it on sleepers it doesn't even wobble well that's very free yeah, isn't it free. Lovely. 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 and uh, now you can get some sort of drain ban uh, bunk underneath there drain everything out of the gearbox that is where you drain the gearbox but we're gonna take the filter out anyway um, yeah, do all, all that good stuff. Are you excited to do a heat exchanger, Tom? It's been a while, I actually am. Yeah, one of our favourite jobs. Not. Yeah, not a lot of fun. Yeah, so first sort of 
without running it up but first look over the pack she's a proper clean vehicle here's that test date 18th of the 7th 2006 bloody hell it's not even that old my cars are older than that well gearbox has been drained we'll let the filter sort of ring out and i think we'll probably replace that to be honest but i do like that that's a big brain move i should say tom yeah balanced so we'll probably leave that all day to be honest to just let the gearbox get as much out as it can and while we start stripping the heat exchanger off um and then we'll flush the gearbox etc etc you almost look comfy out there tom it's dry it's not muddy it's almost pleasant almost now these connections are always tight as all hell um but we did manage to crack them off with that adjustable and a special 46 mil spanner with another spanner hooked over the top of it um, and that way we were able to crack them off faster boy faster faster so we've got the new heat exchanger coming up oh i won't show you too much because that is a joy to see when we open that um yeah it's gonna it's gonna look so pretty on a very pretty pack maybe we can get the sky blue out How are you doing down there, Tom? I don't like this job. Do you love this job? I love my job. I don't love this job. So these are the hydraulic fittings. <laughs> Help. Is this my good angle? <laughs> You're right down there, Tom. You yeah, make, make hoping, yourself comfy. I was hoping this would be a bit easier, but it, it's actually kind of not. I was... can't see what I'm doing now, but I am comfortable. Yes. Put your feet up, relax. Lay on a pallet truck, all those normal things. And we are making progress. I'm sort of just sat up here like a lemon at the minute. Right! Heavy bastards. Doesn't it look gorgeous? 